Welcome back for another Sweet Tip Tuesday. For this week's tip, we are going to go through a simple method to mass delete records using inline edit of a saved search. So because we're mass deleting a bunch of records, we do want to be careful, but because we're using a saved search or a list view because it's based off of a saved search, uh, we can get our criteria super specific to be what we need. So here I am starting with my task list. Uh, for this, I just went straight to my activities, scheduling, and tasks. So I did not create a very specific saved search, but we can. Um, so here I have all of my tasks. I'm going to go ahead and turn on inline edit. So once our page refreshes, we'll see uh, the little pencils across the top. So if you did create a saved search from scratch, you will need to make sure that you have at least one field that shows a pencil on it. Um, a lot of times uh, memo is a very safe field um, or any custom field um, and then so once we have our list view we'll go ahead and pick the records that we want to delete if we're picking records in a row we can choose the first one hold our shift key on our keyboard and select one a little bit further down and then if we don't want contiguous records we can hold our control key and choose some that are uh, just one by one. And then once we have our records selected, you'll see these little dotted lines showing. So once you have these ready, you can hover over what I like to call the little green guy and choose delete record, or you can simply hit your delete key on your keyboard. You'll get a little pop-up notification that just warns you that all these records are going to be deleted so go ahead and click OK and then when it refreshes you'll see that those tasks are gone. Uh, for some of the bigger transaction types it might take a little bit longer uh, for the system to actually delete it so you might look at your list and think oh man why is that still there uh, but you can go ahead and click your refresh on your browser and as you do it you'll see uh, these numbers start to dwindle. The other thing to note is that we can only delete things this way if we can delete them manually in the UI. So we do need to have permissions for it. If we're not in an admin role, our role needs full permissions to that record type. And then um, the record can't have any dependent records. So if you're trying to delete a fulfilled sales order, you won't be able to do it or an item that you created that somebody else put on a purchase order, you wouldn't be able to delete that one either. So uh, once we've got a list view of our data and it's pretty clean, like deletable, um, we'll be able to do this exercise. So again, you know, just go ahead and select one, shift, click the rest, hit your delete key, you'll get your warning. Another little keyboard shortcut, you could just plain hit your space bar and then um, it'll refresh and you'll see them being deleted. So again, just want to warn you, be careful with this, um, but hopefully when you do need it, it will come in handy. You know, of course, I like to say hopefully you don't need it, but in all likelihood, there will be times. So hope you have a great week and come join, join me next week for another sweet tip. Bye, guys.